Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create an RDS instance. And uh, after creating that RDS instance, we'll uh, see how to connect to that RDS database using MySQL Workbench. Okay. So first, let's uh, create an RDS database. So to do that, uh, log into your AWS Management Console and open the RDS Console first. Okay. Once you are in the RDS Management Console, click on Create Database here and choose the standard create option and in the engine option so basically these are the sql engines that uh, rds you know provides you with amazon arara mysql mariadb postgres and uh, microsoft and oracle so let's create a mysql uh, database okay and in the version choose um, uh, let's say like 8.0.20 because uh, not all the versions give us uh, you know free tier instances so click on free tier okay so uh, select free tier if you don't want to be charged any money so uh, this is just for testing purposes so i'm going to uh, select free tier so once you select free tier or uh, i mean you will lose all these options for you know availability and durability so these are basically to give you uh, you know multi availability zone uh, you know options so basically when one availability zone goes down the you know cluster switches to an instance in the different availability zone to you know enhance your availability so since you have selected free tier it is not applicable so uh, let that be as it is. So this is your DB instance identified. You can give any name that you want to your uh, DB instance. Okay, uh, I'll just call it my DB. Okay, and this is your master username, username of the you know uh, database. Okay, I'll just leave it as admin, and uh, you need to give a password to log in. So you can give any password that you wish. Okay, so once you are given the password. This is the instance configuration, so just leave it as default. So this would have selected the you know free tier eligible uh, instance type. So this is a very uh, you know small instance, but uh, it should do for us because we are just want, we just want to you know create some sample instance and you know test it. Okay, so which is fine. And this is your storage allocated storage. Let let uh, leave it as twenty GB, and you know let's leave all this uh, default options as it is, and you make sure you check this box enable our storage auto scaling. Okay, so what this does is it will automatically scale up your storage uh, when it hits the threshold. Okay, so uh, next in the connectivity uh, tab, I'll leave the default VPC and the subnet group as well. I'll leave it as default and in the public access. So this is an important step. So if you want to be able to connect to this instance, uh, RDS instance using your you know MySQL or DB visualizer, anything, make sure you uh, check this public access as yes. But uh, when you check this option as yes. Uh, be very careful that you know you uh, because anyone with your uh, you know URL for your database and you know your password can connect to this database easily. So uh, you should exercise caution when you select this. So in the VPC VPC security group, I'll just select the default. Okay, so the default is selected and availability zone. I don't have any preference, so I'll leave it as it is. Okay, and in the database authentication, I'll select password authentication. So if you want password and IAM authentication as well, so if you have like, I mean, want to give access to IAM users, so you can uh, select this one as well. So, but I leave it uh, with this one. So I leave all the default uh, settings. So basically, so one most important thing is you uh, need to check this public access as yes. And uh, so, I mean, if you want to enhance your security, you can create a, you know, specific VPC and, you know, which has all the security groups and everything installed so that, uh, you know, uh, not in everyone can access your uh, database. So, but for testing purposes, I am just leaving it as default VPC. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this database. Okay. So it will take uh, some time to create the database. So in the status, you can see that it is in the creating database. So uh, I'll just pause the video for uh, some time and we'll be back when the database is created. So now uh, the instance is created and if you see here, the status is available. So now let's see how to connect to this uh, RDS database from MySQL Workbench, okay? So uh, let's take this endpoint here from here, okay? And launch the MySQL Workbench, okay? Here in uh, MySQL connections, click on this plus icon. So in the connection name, uh, let's name this my RDS connection, anything. Okay. So just to identify the connection and in the host name, you need to paste that endpoint that you just copied. Okay. And the username uh, is admin what we had given in, uh, you know, 
while creating the instance. Okay, uh, password, click on this and type the password that you had given when you had created the instance. Click on OK. Um, default schema, I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on test connection. So uh, you're not able to connect to the instance. Uh, so basically when you're not able to connect to the instance or your connection is getting timed out. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, open this RDS instance and click on the security groups here. And inside security groups, go to inbound rules and inbound rules, click on edit inbound rules. Okay, click on add rule here and let's select all traffic and let's select anywhere okay and click on save rules okay so now this is saved now let's go back to sql workbench again and uh, try this test connection okay so now if you see uh, it says i successfully made the my sql connection so uh, make sure that, I mean, if you are not able to connect and your connection is getting timed out, make sure to go to the security groups and, you know, add the inbound security tool. Okay. Click on OK here. And so I'm going to open this connection now. Okay. So uh, this is the, you know, default view that you get. So you can, you know, start running your queries here. So let's just do one thing. Let's just create a database. Okay. Create database. Let's say sample DB. Okay. And let's run this query. So it created the sample database if you see here. So um, let's use this sample DB and create a table. Create table. So let's just create some you know table called employee and So uh, let's give employee ID and let's give this as integer and let's give the employee name as, you know, wirecard and let's give 255 something. Okay. So let's run this create table command. Okay. There is a syntax. Okay. I just need to give comma here. Now uh, the table is created as well. Okay. So that's how you, uh, I mean, create an RDS instance using your management console and then connect to the RDS instance using, uh, you know, MySQL workbench. Hope you found this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.